it's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries, we'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. <sighs> a good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? No use trying to hide how you really feel, Teach. I can see it in your eyes. You don't intend to lose. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. I'll cut through. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. I'll go. Here we go. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not, or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. Come <laughs> on. 
choose. Professor is quite a commander. Done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. Victory is in sight, Black Eagles. Do not let up. Stay vigilant. left to go. Is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. That is that. be no victory unless I defeat you. So be it. We must 
must all do our part. Accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. I will get stronger yet. Forced to retreat? Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Did I fail? I must need to train harder. Next time, bring your friends. Well done. Coming up with brilliant schemes I can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on.
weakness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is, well, I was as good as useless. Should I have held back? Hey, you didn't compliment me like that when my class won last year. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. That's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House! This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. <laughs> Professor! I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. After all, we fought hard out there. Such exertion is bound to make anyone hungry for respite. Don't you agree? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right! He really is! We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor! Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix! You really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness! Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the Professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. You say that, but your eyes tell a different story. 
I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! 